Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm running some errands. Well, I kind of already have. Um, I went grocery shopping today and um, took Duke to the groomer. So I'm sitting outside of PetSmart right now waiting for them to call me, but I grabbed some Panera for lunch and I wanted to show you guys what I got. I went to Sam's Club because um, I like these Fairlife protein shake things and um, Sam's Club is like the only place I can find them. So I had to run there to grab those. So I grabbed a Diet Dr. Pepper. They finally have their cups back at like the things. That tastes like super flat. That's annoying. Anyways, my Panera lunch order is an apple. Half of a Chipotle chicken avocado melt and then half of the Asian sesame chicken or Asian sesame salad with chicken. It's my favorite salad there and my favorite sandwich. I literally get it all the time. So this is the salad. Like I said, this is my favorite salad. It has chicken on it. These little dry noodles. I think that's what they are. And almonds. And then the dressing is really good and also has sesame seeds on it. And then here's the sandwich. Just the... Chipotle chicken avocado melt, literally my favorite. And then just the apple. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat really quick before they call me so I can so go I to just Duke. finished eating and I'm still waiting for Duke, for them to call me that Duke is done. But I'm gonna get him some salmon oil to put on his food for his joints and stuff like that. Cause I, um, when we were in PA last weekend, um, we took him with us so he'd go to the vet. <clears throat> and I just asked about like recommendations and she said that's a good option or like different kinds of um joint medication pills and stuff like that so I'm gonna see what I can find and see what I want to put them on to make his joints a little better and just like preventative stuff like he's getting older so he's gonna be seven this year but, um, what's gonna say? Oh yeah, so I just finished my lunch, I'm waiting for him, and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna unload groceries. I'm gonna show you guys what I, everything that I got. We went to Target, um, Sam's Club, and Walmart for groceries. A um, couple weeks ago, I took my gestational um, diabetes test, my glucose test for gestational diabetes. And I failed it so bad that I didn't have to take the three hour test. So I failed my one hour test um, really bad. So basically I have gestational diabetes, which is um, very stressful and hard to navigate. Let's just put it that way. I have to take my sugar four times a day and I just saw a diabetes nutritionist um, yesterday. <clears throat> who gave me recommendations of what I could get and basically how many carbs I'm allowed to have for each meal and snacks included. And um, I guess that you don't put into perspective of like how many carbs are in something until like you have to keep track of that kind of stuff. Cause I was like, oh, I don't really eat a lot of carbs and stuff like that. And then come to realize that I was actually eating a lot of carbs. So I basically can't eat anything fun for the rest of my pregnancy, which sucks, but we'll, we'll manage. We got 10 weeks left, so we'll be okay and good diet changes. So I can't complain too much about it. It's just hard. Um, so a lot of the groceries that I got are going to be low carb options, um, that she recommended or that I just saw that looked low carb that would be a good alternative to what I was already eating. So yeah, the groceries are gonna look a little bit different this week. And we're just taking it one day at a time, but I hate pricking my finger four times a day. It really sucks. So if you are pregnant and you don't want gestational diabetes, watch your carbs, not just your sugars. And yeah, <clears throat> but yeah all right i'm just gonna chill in my car till they call me so i'll see you guys when we get home all right guys so i just got back home from grabbing duke and he looks so handsome he's a clean boy and he's all cut i always like petting him when um 
I pick him up because he's so soft after a bath and just getting like brushed out and cut and everything like that. And then he always smells so good. But I want to show you guys what I got from the grocery store. So I'm going to start with um, Target. Or I'll start with Sam's Club because I only got one thing from there. These are the protein milks that I was talking about. Um, they didn't have the vanilla flavor, which is the one I usually get. So I'm going to try the strawberry. Hopefully they're good. I hope it tastes like strawberry milk, honestly. <laughs> but I have a couple life of the vanilla ones. This is what the vanilla, vanilla ones look like. All right, and then from Target, I got caramel and plain rice cakes. I, I got the go ahead to get those. And then when I picked up Duke, I got some poop bags for him. And then these are the dog treats that I'm going to give him now. So they're the Cosequin. It's my, the brand that my vet recommended to start giving him for like just joint support and stuff like that. So I was going to get those. Um, I got sugar-free Jello. I got two boxes. Both um, strawberry. Um, carpet cleaner. Never have too much of that. And then I got more fruit punch meal. So I love that flavor. And then I also got the orange vanilla because I wanted to try it. So we'll see how that tastes. And then I got some of these almond butters. I haven't liked peanut butter in a while, so um, I'm gonna see if I like these and put these on the plain rice cakes that I got. I got an all, I got a, I cannot talk right now. I got a maple flavor and a cinnamon flavor. So we'll see how they taste. And then my dietitian also recommended like popcorn and she actually recommended this brand. So I'm going to try the sea salt popcorn and then I got the sweet and salty one as well to try that out um, for like craving like salty or sweet thing, like sweeter stuff. So yeah, I think I know I like these ones. So yeah, that's everything that I got from this. Target. Now I gotta get everything out from Walmart. So I got a case of Diet Dr. Pepper. I'm not really gonna show that. And I also got a case of water. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna get everything out and then kind of show you guys. All right, so this is all the cold stuff that I got besides like some fruits and stuff, but we got some lettuce, like uh, salad mixes for lunches and I'm gonna add some of this chicken on. And then bologna and cheese for Spencer sandwiches, some cottage cheese. We got some green beans and broccoli back there. Spinach, avocados, almond milk, eggs. I'm gonna try these yogurts again. I did try them before and I wasn't a big fan but they are really low carb so I am gonna try those out. Some zero sugar Cool Whip to put on my jello or just to eat with my strawberries that I got. Need to get some more butter, cucumbers, baby carrots. Then I got some turkey meat and some chicken. And I got these turkey sausages. So I'm gonna make like an omelet with cheese and spinach in it for breakfast and then pair it with some turkey sausage and maybe a yogurt. And yeah, that's all the cold stuff that I got. So I'm going to put this away really fast and then show you what else I got. All right, so this is everything else I got. So some cherries, blueberries, strawberries, apples, brown rice. I'm just going to try these out and make sure they don't up my blood sugar. So I just bought the little ones for right now. And then I want to try these out. They look pretty good. They're really low in carb, so we'll see how they taste. Um, Sugar-free brown maple brown sugar oatmeal had this had less carbs than regular oatmeal, so we'll see how it goes. 
low carb bread. This is mostly for Spencer. I'm also allowed to have a piece. So I bought the avocados to do the avocado toast with an egg in the morning when I'm home and stuff. And then I bought four boxes of bonza pasta because you just can't beat 20 grams of protein. And they have like barely any carbs. Sugar-free barbecue sauce because I'm going to do some barbecue chicken. And then some honey mustard to dip my chicken in. And this is the zero sugar one. I'm also going to use this as a salad dressing. And then we just needed some more ketchup. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I got. And it was... It was a successful shopping trip. But I have literally not been home since like 10.30 this morning. So I'm completely exhausted. So I'm putting all of this away right now. And then I'm going to lay down and relax until Spencer comes home and we decide what we're doing. Guys, it is Sunday and I just made breakfast. I made this yesterday. It was so good, but I want to show you guys. So hold on a second. Some cottage cheese with um, pepper on it. And then this is a slice of low carb bread and avocado and then two eggs and a slice of cheese. Oh my gosh, this was so good yesterday. I definitely had to make it again. And I'm having a Diet Dr. Pepper with my breakfast since I can't have coffee because I can't have any like cream or sugar or anything in it. So that is my breakfast. I wanted to show you guys my lunch and I started eating it and I got halfway through and forgot that I wanted to show you. But I ordered five guys and I got... A bacon cheeseburger with pickles and onions and then I did a lettuce wrap um, the lettuce was like kind of soggy by the time it got to me so I didn't really eat it that much and apparently I don't like onions again <laughs> so I almost like threw up at the smell of those so I had to take those off and then I just eat the pickles on the side and then I just paired it with Sun Chips and I'm just eating one and a half servings which is the carbs I'm allowed to have for my lunch and yeah I'm gonna enjoy this and relax with my bub it's just the two of us Spencer went golfing but I'm just editing some videos and doing laundry today and I want to show you guys I put all the BB clothes away finally in the closet so I kind of I'll show you guys a little bit of that and I also made his crib so I kind of want to show you guys that too but yeah that's pretty much all I'm doing today. It's Sunday, so got to go back to work tomorrow. So I want to show you guys some progress on the nursery. So here we go. Here's the crib. I have it all made. Got a sheet on. Got the little um, blanket there. And then changing pad with the little mat. We got his books, the piggy banks, some shoes. I'm going to move all this stuff around. Cause I'm trying to get some shelves for the walls for the books. So um, they're just there for right now. This is stuff that I'm packing to go to the hospital. I hung his little towels in his bed. We I hung all the clothes that we got. Well, the, these are just like um, the regular clothes and stuff like that. And then I put all of the short sleeve onesies from newborn to three to six months in this drawer as well as hats and a little sleeper. And then here's the recliner that I got off Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks. It's reclines, swivels, and glides. So it like moves in circles. Ignore the diaper mask. I'm not sure what I'm, where I'm gonna be putting those yet. And then I've had this forever, cleaned it off a little bit. I still have to clean out that. And I put burp cloths, and extra sheets and blankets in that little bin. Have a little picture from that I want to hang up somewhere. But yeah, it's coming together. I just have to take down like this, these moons and stuff like that. They're obviously not staying in here. And hook up his baby monitor, which will go over the crib. But look how cute this is. It's making it so real. Like having all of this together. I'm so excited. How do you feel, Duke? He's not too sure. But yeah, now that all of that is done, I'm waiting for my our laundry to get out of the dryer, so I'm gonna go take a nap 
And I'll see you guys when I make dinner. I'm going to show you guys um, what I'm making tonight. I just woke up from a nap. And it was much needed. <laughs> I'm so tired. Um, but I'm making dinner. And I kind of want to show you guys um, what I'm making tonight. So let's see if I can do this because my tripod is... I have chicken. I already seasoned one side. One of um, Spencer's really good friends makes his own seasoning rubs with like a bunch of other seasonings. I so I unfortunately I can't tell you what is all in it because I have no clue. <laughs> but it's amazing and it tastes very like like a almost like a barbecue dry rub. Like there's definitely some barbecue in it and it's just oh. It's amazing. It literally changes the flavor of chicken. It's delicious. And I hope he sells it one day because I will buy it by like a big bottle. <laughs> so I'm just seasoning both sides with this. And then I'm going to cook this chicken at 400 for 20 minutes. I'm going to do 10 minutes on each side. Look how good that seasoning looks on it. Delicious. All right, and then I'm just pairing dinner with some banda pasta, and we'll probably just put butter on this, honestly. Um, but yeah, that is what we are making for dinner, and then Spencer's going to have leftovers tomorrow for dinner. Because I have a work meeting, and then I'm going to take some chicken and put it over a salad for lunch tomorrow. But yeah, so I'll keep you guys updated. I'll show you guys the chicken when it comes out, um, and let you know. All right, so this is how everything turned out. I just paired it with some green beans that I cooked a couple days ago, so I just reheated those. Here's the chicken, and then here's the bonza pasta, and I just put salt, pepper, and Parmesan cheese and butter on it. But yeah, that's tonight's dinner. It looks so good. So I just took my sugar, and it was good, so I decided to treat myself with some of this sugar-free ice cream, and if anyone is so they advertise it as keto friendly um but it's the halo top brand it's um chocolate cheesecake flavored it's actually pretty good it just it's a weird texture it's definitely not the same texture as like regular ice cream and per serving it only has 16 grams of carbs and then it just has 10 net carbs per um per pint so i just go based off of like the carbs that it says on the here but 16 grams of carbs so it's actually um pretty good and yeah if you have a sweet tooth and you need to watch your sugar definitely try this out it's actually pretty good it was delicious all right so it's a couple days later and i want to show you guys a quick tattoo tour um somebody commented on my last video and just asked for one so i definitely want to give that to you guys um, I have quite a few, so let's get started. All right, so this is my very first tattoo. It is just three little birds. It's super faded. I got this when I turned 16, and I could get a tattoo with my mother's consent, so she came with me <laughs> and my, went with one of my really good friends um, from high school, and we both got tattoos together Um not very not the same tattoo but we both were like 16 and got a tattoo got right on that so <clears throat> i don't remember the rest of them in order really for the most part but i'll try so the next one i have is this big mandela with um like a flower and stuff like that so i basically gave my tattoo artist two different designs and told him to kind of do whatever and make it his own so that's kind of what he did and he did some really cool dot shading in here it's amazing one of my favorites they're all actually my some of my favorites so um the next one i have is um see if you can kind of see it is this one on my arm it is a compass like dream catcher type of thing and I did pretty much the same thing. I gave him two different designs that I really liked. And he kind of made it into one tattoo. And 
the same day that I got this one finished, I went and got this. And it just says you got to promise not to break no matter how far you are bent. And then it has the band's logo because it is a song lyric quote from a band that I listened to in college. My good friend that I got my first tattoo with, she actually has the same tattoo on her leg. So uh, that was kind of cool. She just has it in like different writing and she doesn't have like the band logo. The band is the front bottoms, by the way. They're like an alternative punk rock, I think, alternative band or whatever. Um, they're not popular really at all. They have like a really small fan base and I just really liked the quote and so did she. So we ended up getting the same tattoo, just different places. And yeah, I really like it. And then this is my other big tattoo that I have. So it's an owl and I just showed him a reference picture of like what type of owl I kind of wanted it to resemble. And he kind of went with it and did his own design and the feathers and everything like that. This was also my first color tattoo. So it has a little bit of purple in the background and then um, an outline in the yellow of the moon. So yeah, I really like that one. And then Spencer and I both have matching arrows on our forearms. We have it on the same arm. And we got these a few years ago before we got married, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah, we just really liked them and we thought it would be really cool to have matching tattoos. So we got matching tattoos. I mean, we've been together for almost, it'll be 10 years next January. So yeah, it just made sense. <laughs> Anyways, um, this is the last tattoo that I have and it is lavender tied with a pink ribbon and Spencer's Two cousins also have pretty much the same tattoo, just a little bit different. Um, for Spencer's grandma who passed away three years ago, I think. Four years ago? Two years ago? I think. 2019? Whenever COVID started. I know the year that COVID started is the year that she passed away. Um, but she was also a breast cancer survivor, so that's why I did a pink ribbon on mine. And I think his cousins are a little bit different. Um... But yeah, we all pretty much wanted like the same thing. So we all got matching ones for the most part. But yeah, those are all of my tattoos. I do plan on getting more. Definitely want to get one for the baby and Duke, of course. But I have a whole arm sleeve that I want to get done custom by like a tattoo artist. Like I want to have a tattoo. I want to come in with like certain designs and then just have a tattoo artist draw it out and then give it uh, and then do it and stuff like that. So I want something like unique and like not like overdone and stuff like that. So yeah, those are all of my tattoos. Um, I hope you guys like them. If you have any questions on tattoos, I can answer some. I don't, I don't know. None of them hurt that much. So um, the one that hurt the most was probably this one just cause it's so sensitive. And then maybe this one too. It's also really sensitive right there. But other than that, none of them hurt like super bad, obviously. I went back for like five more. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog.